clients like we do. Meteorologist Angelica Campos joining us from the Carlsbad flower fields this evening with our Mother's Day forecast. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Kimberly. Well, they closed the doors about an hour ago, just a little bit over an hour ago, but we're still here enjoying the flower fields and it's going to be a great weekend. So many great things going on. Keep in mind, they open at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and I'll give you a full breakdown of what to expect if you're planning on coming out tomorrow. <laughs> The winds are still unsure and they're getting a little bit stronger in some parts of the county. We had a little bit of wind this afternoon, so if you're out here tomorrow afternoon between 2 and 4, you're probably going to experience some of that as well. Gusting up to 33 miles per hour in Harrison Park. The conditions in other parts of the county still nice and clear, including El Cajon, Ramona, with temperatures in the low 70s. But here's the breakdown for tomorrow. As they open the doors at 9 a.m., 61 degrees. It does get better by the hour, by noontime, 66, 67 into the afternoon. But the winds will start picking up right around 2, 3 o'clock. And then by 5, the winds will subside. Across the county tomorrow, Expect another warm day away from the coast. Areas like San Diego, pretty much exactly where we should be for this time of the year, but 80s are in store for El Cajon and also for Ramona. The trend will be cooler this weekend. Some spots are still gonna see some 80s in our valleys, but the biggest difference is going to be happening tonight as the marine layer begins to deepen. And tomorrow morning, it'll potentially lower visibility below a mile. So low visibility will be a concern from the coast all the way to the 15 and gusty winds will continue impacting our mountains and deserts. And that is your forecast for tonight. So numbers will stay in the 50s, increasingly cloudy from the coast, inland mountains, gusty winds of up to 30 miles per hour, expecting stronger wind gust as you travel into the deserts, potentially up to 40 miles per hour, and then a repeat for tomorrow. In our 10 News Pinpoint 7-day forecast, low 70s on Friday over the weekend, around 70 degrees on Saturday, and then cooler next week, gray skies expected, so it's going to look a lot more like a May gray week, Monday through Wednesday, a little bit more sunshine most likely by Thursday and Friday. Not exactly as warm as this week, but a very similar trend with at least three days of cloudy skies and then eventually sunnier towards the end of the week. Inland communities warm tomorrow, 70 Saturday back to normal. Sunday for Mother's Day looks great. Highs around 73 degrees. Patchy fog expected in the morning. So if you're headed out to brunch or if you are maybe making your way to the coast, just be ready to go from sunny skies to cloudier skies closer to coastal communities. Mountains, windy. Those winds are going to get stronger as a storm passes to our north Sunday into early next week. And then our deserts will be feeling the heat all the way through Saturday. Temperatures will average in the low 90s on Sunday. So even the deserts will have some nice weather on Mother's Day. In Kimberly, they have a blues musician here on Sunday between 1 and 5. They'll be closing a little bit earlier, but the weather should be nice for that. Oh, that'll be so nice with the flowers and the music. What a day.